It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne, an entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. It's us, the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And welcome, everyone, to the Wine Ladies, one sip at a time. We're live here today on thatchannel.com. And, of course, thanks to all of our friends and fans on Facebook, on Twitter, and thewineladies.com. Thank you for following. And I want to thank you for uh, sending in all your questions and comments and entering our contest, indicating which, were, which are your favorite favorite wine and chocolate pairings just in time for Easter. And you know what, Georgia, we've really gotten some very interesting wine and chocolate combinations. Uh -huh, we sure have. And you know what, how you enter, just tell us what's your favorite. You go to the Wine Ladies Facebook fan page, or you can also email us at info at thewineladies.com. We've got five prizes. The grand prize is a set of bricks chocolate from milk chocolate to dark chocolate to extra dark chocolate mm -hmm. valued at about $60 and then we also have four prizes of the extra dark chocolate so we're going to be giving that away on April the 3rd at midnight check out the wine ladies Facebook fan page and you might be the winner <laughs> <laughs> look at you all right now Suzanne I also want to mention very quickly that we are going to be hosting a fabulous evening of South African splendor it is in support of the world chefs tour against hunger in South Africa and worldwide it's going to be a fabulous event happening on June 2nd in Oakville I know you and I have been getting into a lot of fundraisers and the past this past year and we've been having a lot of fun with them and this one is a really exciting one it is for the a culinary team the Canadian team that is going to be heading over to South Africa right. uh, in August mm -hmm. they got to get there yep. so <laughs> there's over 250 chefs that will be going to South Africa in August and we got to try and get them there plus we want to get some get them some gifts to bring to the children right. and some funds of course it's all against world hunger it started out in 1993 and this is their third one yes. they are planning to raise four million rand so it's a great cause June the 2nd. Wow. Now, it's going to be an incredible evening, like I said. We're going to have fantastic food, wonderful South African wines, wines that you probably haven't had a chance to taste before. Uh, we're also going to have entertainment. We're going to have a medicine man from South Africa reading your personal inspirational stone mm. and much more. So make sure you check it out on thewineladies.com for details and for tickets. Okay, well, you know what? We always like to toast uh, our uh, guests in studio. So let's uh, raise our glasses and toast. Salut. Cheers. Salut, everyone. And actually, we are toasting with a beautiful Gamay Droit from Chateau de Charme in Niagara. And uh, it, there's a very interesting story behind this great variety. And we're going to learn a little bit more about that in just a little bit. All right. Well, we have got an incredible show lined up for you guys today. We have got a show that's going to go from coast to coast, from the Maritimes all the way out to BC. And a special ho hello, actually, to uh, people tuning in today from British Columbia, because yes. we're going to be there on Friday <laughs> for nine whole days. Right. We can hardly wait. And uh, today we've got a fabulous chef uh, on the show with us. He is an uh, award-winning award <laughs> author. He is a good food activist a philanthropist, he is a culinarian who has recently won the Cordon d'Or Gold Ribbon International Culinary Academy Award and the Gourmand World Cookbook Award for his first book, From Pemmican to Poutine, A Journey Through Canada's Culinary History. All right, Suzanne, who is this person already? My I goodness. don't know, I'm exhausted just from the introduction. It is none other than the wonderful and Fabulous chef yeah. Suman Roy, great to have you here. Pleasure Welcome to the mine. wine, ladies. Pleasure is mine. Oh, Suman, great to have you here. Absolutely. I have to say, when I was flipping through your book the other night, it was quite late, admittedly. I think it was about 1 a.m. in the morning. But boy, I couldn't put it down. I think finally <laughs> at 2 a.m. I was there. Okay, put this book down, Georgia. It is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Thanks a lot. And it's it's not just like your regular cookbook. It's a cookbook. It's a, it's a history book. It's got a lot of interesting stories in there and anecdotes. Yeah, this book is uh, it's it's a labor of love that I would call for the last couple of years that I've been traveling coast to coast with this. Yes. And uh, actually, let me give you a little bit uh, background why I did this book. Sure. Because it's a pretty interesting story. Mm -hmm. Around four years ago, I was traveling through China. Uh -huh. doing some demos on Canadian food. And what is Canadian food? Exactly. I'm sure you're going to tell us later I on. I will, <laughs> but before that... Don't ruin the story. Exactly. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> so after one such demo, this gentleman, little senior, came up to me and said, I was not happy with what you just did. Mm. You generally what, hear it that. Did taste good? What? No, he, so I asked him, I said, what was wrong? He said, you were not honest. Oh. I said, oh. okay, what did I, where did I go wrong? Mm -hmm. He said, you didn't talk about the polar bear meat that you guys eat. Oh. You didn't talk about the skunk that you guys eat. The what? The skunk. The skunk. skunk. <laughs> so that told me that we have got a lot to tell the world of what we do eat here. Absolutely. And what we are all about. So that is what really got me into this. I was just about to ask him. I, do you want to see the picture of the igloo that I live in? <laughs> but I uh, just uh, reserved you my comments yourself. there. Exactly. <laughs> but after that, for mm -hmm. the next year, I traveled across the world. Mm -hmm. And wherever I went, I asked the question what they thought as Canadian food. Yes. And to my surprise, there were two answers that mm -hmm. keep, kept on coming back and forth. Okay. One was we eat polar bear and skunks. <laughs> and the other one... I would never think to say that, but anyway, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, you live here, so you, you know. Go. You know this place. <laughs> but the other was, we are just like American food, having the... Burgers and fries. Burgers, fries, oh. the mac and cheeses. Okay. With, no due, uh, with due respect to our heritage as well as our friends down south, right. we are a little different on what we eat. It's yes. not always that way. Yeah. So that's why I came back and I, th I thought, I should work on this. Mm -hmm. I should find out for myself... What really this cuisine is all about? I would think that, uh, like we haven't, I haven't read the entire book, but I'm just wondering, is it a compilation of all the nationalities too that have come to Canada? You know, the the people, the indigenous people that have been here, of course, but it's like a, a melange of all kinds of people. Is, it, is that part of it? You're absolutely correct, and that's how I broke the book up. Now, Canadian food is one such cuisine where you do not really, there's not a flavor profile that is mm. really strong. Okay. Like in Indian or in Chinese or mm -hmm. uh -huh. in uh, Spain or in Italy, there is a flavor profile that's in there, yes. okay. which, is, which is indigenous to that country. Mm -hmm. Canadian cuisine is not such, uh -huh. but what differentiates us is the ingredients. Mm -hmm. We are more of an ingredient-based cuisine as opposed to be a flavor-based cuisine. Based oh, okay. on where you live in, in the country, is that exactly. right? Exactly. Ah, okay. So the way I broke down this book is I broke it down into six different sections, mm -hmm. and that is from six different parts of the country. Right. And then between each section, the first part of the tra is the traditional recipes mm -hmm. that came down through the generation in that region. Right, okay. But in the next part, what I did was I took the ingredients, which is indigenous to that part of the country, mm -hmm gave it the modern twist which we relate to today right. with the immigration population and the flavors that has come through generations. Okay, now that's awesome. Now I know you brought Now we're going to go to a break. Oh, okay. You're watching The Wine Ladies <laughs> here on thatchannel.com. We're going to have a quick break. When we get back, we'll be here with Executive Chef Suman Roy. We'll be right back. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. So what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny. The Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out Wines. Hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. Hey, Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it. Believe it. You'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. 
T-Zone Vibration, 905-483-8676. InBeauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the InBeauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. InBeauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com.